ثلاثة الحجامة and oral hygiene for treating thalassemia and iron overload conditions towards improving the therapeutic outcomes. Iron accumulation in thalassemia and iron overload conditions causes structural tissue damage and functional derangement that may involve vital organs as the heart, liver, pancreas, endocrine glands, and the others. Iron overload persists even after cure of thalassemia with bone marrow transplantation. Causes of iron overload increase the cellular absorption of iron and excessive hemolysis. Causes of excessive hemolysis include abnormal globin chain precipitation and low immunization, autoimmunization, erythrocyte membrane skeletal protein defects, increased concentration of oxidants as serum iron and malondialdehyde and decreased concentration of antioxidants as bufa polyunsaturated fatty acids. Iron chelation therapy using defroxamine, deferazirox and deferobrone have a lot of side effects and limitations that may discontinue its use. Iron chelation therapy does not treat causes of hemolysis. Phlebotomy or venesection is drawing blood outside the vein to decrease the content of anoxious substance in the blood. Phlebotomy corrects partially iron overload but increases the necessity for subsequent blood transfusion and aggravates the anemic status. Al hijama is with coping therapy of prophetic medicine. Al hijama may be a promising treatment for thalassemia and iron overload conditions as it was recently reported to clear blood significantly from iron, ferritin, LDL cholesterol, total cholesterol, triglyceride, free radicals, and others. Al hijama using a scientific mechanism that is a physiological principle like the renal filtration, pressure dependent and size dependent filtration according to the evidence based type mechanism. First step of al hijama is applying the sucking cups. This is the fenestrated skin capillaries. Finistry or pores are 6 to 100 nanometer in diameter, smaller than the size of an RBC. Applying the sucking cups creates skin uplifting at the skin of the back of the trunk and the upper back in the Cahill region. Skin uplifting are delineated by the cup's margin. Hair follicles are prominent in the skin uplifting. Sharpat mehjam or skin scarifications are artificial 0.1 mm in depth. These are done to transmit the suction pressure to the inside of the skin uplifting to around the skin capillaries, the fenestrated skin capillaries to enhance the pressure dependent and the size dependent filtration. Sharpat mehjam are incisions, very superficial, uniform, in parallel rows, equally distributed, confined to the skin uplifting, is preceded and followed by a suction step. Blood, bloody material and exudate coming out from the charted mahjan scarifications containing the noxious substances, including iron and ferritin. RBCs are too large to be excreted. However, trauma may cause some bleeding here. These are the excreted bloody material during al hijam Clotted material coming out during al hijama containing iron ferritin, LDL cholesterol, noxious substances, free radicals, and the other great blood clearance. Another remedy in prophetic medicine is oral honey. It was recently reported to improve the glycemic control, increase the antioxidant power, increase the antioxidant potential, enhance the natural immunity. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him recommended al hijama and the oral honey in the hadith. Cure is in three. In short, at mahjam, oral honey and cauterization, I do not recommend my nation to cauterize.